Will Levis is in Indianapolis today. Still eating bananas the same way I'm Anthony assuming? Richardson, yeah. <laughs> Anthony Richardson is all over the map. I believe he's in Tennessee today. He's going to wind up visiting the Ravens, too. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of top 30 visits that they're just shoehorning in because why not? What a, you know, yeah, why not? I mean, it, it, you know, and certainly you're doing your due diligence if you're Baltimore. What if this kid drops all the way down? I doubt it. I so doubt it. They're sitting at 23. Do they even move up? That would be wild. That would be wild. I, I don't even know. And then there's Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker is visiting a whole bunch of places. Now, that's the guy. Because that's the guy that you just sit for a year and see what's going exactly. on. Exactly. So you do what uh, the Ravens did for Lamar Jackson. You get back into the first round at the bottom there, and you take him. You let him sit until you need him. But you knock on. I mean, you got some teams at the bottom of the first round that I think would be happy to pop out. If there are people that the, the board isn't isn't uh, isn't there, happy to say you come in. You want Hendon Hooker for a fifth year of eligibility for your contract, uh, fifth year of your uh, uh, of, for a fifth year of contractual control. You got the the Jacksonville Jaguars at twenty five. You got the Giants at twenty six. You got the Cowboys at twenty seven. You got the Buffalo Bills at twenty eight. You got Cincinnati at twenty nine. Certainly, if New Orleans is sitting there at 30 and might want to just roll the dice and figure that Derek Carr is not going to be there for a whole long time, I mean, or they'll trade out. Philadelphia at 31, Kansas City at 32. Somebody wants a fifth year of contractual control of Hendon Hooker, you can come and grab him right there. And then, of course, there's Minnesota at 24. Everyone thinks they're going to grab that kid no matter what. So you want to pop in front of them, there's Baltimore at 23. Chargers at 22. Seattle sitting there at 20. They could draft Hendon Hooker and have Geno Smith do his thing. Or they can go ahead, Seattle, and choose Anthony Richardson at five or move up and go get him if they love him so much. Hendon Hooker is in Washington today. Is he hanging out with Magic? <laughs> 16th overall. You want to use your 16th overall pick on this kid? Houston... You know why they might be trading at it too? Because they love Hooker. They're sitting there at 12 with the Deshaun Watson pick. They can grab him and say, we'll go with Davis Mills for the for this year. You know? Or you're Detroit. Do you do something like that? Do you go with Anthony Richardson? Washington, do they choose Hendon Hooker? Or if you're Indianapolis, do you take Will Levis? Do you just pass on it and you go, you're one of those teams that trades back into the end of the first round for Hooker. And you go into your first year, you're saying, who who's going to be your starter? It's my number one on my power rankings list of quarterbacks whose birthday parties I want to attend the most. Gardner Minshew, how do you look against the uh, Dallas Cowboys? With Shane Steichen at the controls. You know? There are so many options right here, and it's all believable. Everything I just said is 1,000% believable. Anybody can... You know, they, the Raiders are, are, are in this mix, sitting there at seven. Do they move up? Do they sit tight? And then the Texans. I mean, this is wild. Again, Adam Schefter... First put it in the ether last week. I'm 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 not convinced that the Texans are going to take a quarterback second overall. Albert Breer came on the show a couple days later. I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, Casario came from New England where they never used a first round pick on a quarterback. The highest he ever drafted one in New England was uh, Garoppolo, second round. D'Amico Ryans is the new head coach there. He was there in the draft where they went ahead and went. They zigged when everybody thought they were going to zag with Reggie Bush. They they went with Mario Williams. And then D'Amico Ryan shows up. And he comes from San Francisco where, you know, choosing someone top five didn't pan out. So, yeah, they might be inclined to go and get Will Anderson second overall or trade out and then use 12 on Henning Hooker. Hmm. Why not? You might be, that's too high. What do you care? 
That's what they pick. They'll get in front of everybody. Kid gets better. The question is, is do you do such a move if you're on the hot seat? Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free. 